And Matt LaFleur 15 and 0 in December. Yeah. These Chiefs the last four years 16 and 1. A very good team they're going up against. But this Packers defense has allowed 24 or less points for seven straight of their last games. And that's with the injury bug. We saw Darnell Savage get taken off the IR this week. Jair Alexander and Rudy Ford could also be coming back here today. All three of those guys questionable and all of them missing multiple games. As far as those big guys up front, well, they're coming off maybe their best game of the year in Detroit, but the challenge ahead is the quarterback Patrick Mahomes and he's playing for the first time here at Lambeau Field and even though they haven't been as dominant as they have the past several years it's still going to be a, a huge challenge especially the way that Mahomes can connect with Travis Kelsey so this Packers defense will certainly need to apply that pressure. Yeah, okay, so you heard LaFleur say it that Mahomes can use his legs. He's actually the second leading rusher on this Chiefs team. And if you take away the 15 times that he's knelt down at the end of the game for a loss of 17 yards, he's averaging eight and a half yards per scramble. Another thing to keep an eye on is that second quarter. More than half of the Chiefs points are being scored in the second quarter. All right, we still have plenty more to come here at Lambeau Field, including the inactives. We'll have that coming up later in sports. Chris. All right, Adriana and Dave, thank you so much. Again, we'll check back in with them one more time before kickoff. Don't forget the flip vote on AZ. Yeah, well, the Packers are getting several guys that will be active here tonight, including Devondre Campbell, Rudy Ford, Darnell Savage, Dontavian Wicks, and Jaden Reed, who is not active once again is Jair Alexander. So they'll be a little short in that cornerback room as well, but they've done it without him before. Now on the other side of the ball, let's talk about Jordan Love. This isn't exactly a revenge game for him, but this is a significant opponent because he started his NFL career against the Chiefs two years ago, getting his first start in Kansas City. And well, he definitely got an awakening the way that they were coming after him, but it wasn't a terrible performance. He completed 56% of his passes for one touchdown, one interception, one interception and one fumble. But again, they came after him, and we're going to see that again here tonight, especially maybe from Chris Jones, a guy to keep an eye on. He has seven and a half sacks entering this one. So love and uh, this, this front line, this offense is going to have a challenge ahead of them. You know, I felt like I've got so much more comfortable in the pocket, just going through my reads, things like that. Since then, understanding protections, understanding um, you know where I'm hot, things like that. So they, they do a little bit of different things. You know, it's not as much as the pressure packages that we were seeing um, a couple years ago, but they still do um, some really good stuff, some really good pressures. Um, so it's something that you know we'll have a good plan for this week. Um, but obviously, it's, it's a different team. O line, we just got to hold up, protect. Um, I, honestly, I feel like he played good. We just we just got to give him more time, or you know, just look at the misses and stuff like that and be able to pick those up. But obviously he's more experienced than what he was last time we played him. We just got a lot of got a lot of weapons and things like that. So we just gotta utilize them for sure. So this offense coming off a game where Jordan Love was not sacked at all, but again, this is a tough Chiefs defense. They rank, they are third in points allowed in the NFL and fourth in yards allowed. So pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. How good is KC? Well, all the Chiefs have done in Patrick Mahomes' five seasons as a starter.